The reason that we study snakes is that they can move through almost any kind of environment. People have created snake-like robots to replicate their mobility. But very challenging for them is large obstacles that are really smooth. We want to see how snakes can traverse large obstacles while maintaining stability. We study the king snake. It is a generalist, meaning that it can live and move well in many kinds of environments. We found that the snake uses what we call a partition gate, which people haven't described before. The snake will use the front and the rear part of the body uh, to undulate laterally, both above and below the step, uh, like a wave. But then the body section in the middle will simply lift itself up and maintains a straight shape in the air, which is called cantilevering. So we first built our robot and designed a control algorithm to generate this kind of wave-like oscillation pattern. It's able to traverse the large step, but is much less stable and often gets stuck and slips a whole lot. So we hypothesized that this passive compliance of the biological snake body is key to their ability to maintain good support. So what we did is to add this car-like suspension, basically a simple spring between the body and the wheels. And what that does is allow the wheels to maintain good contact no matter how the body wobbles. We found that when we do that, our robots have better performance compared to most previous snake robots. It's able to traverse large steps at very high probability. But our ultimate goal is to understand much, much more complex terrain. You can think of forest floor or earthquake rubble as the ultimate things that we want to traverse.